In this video, I'm going to show you really easy, simple, step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the charging port on the Samsung A71. To start off this repair, you don't really need to use heat. These aren't stuck down too heavy. Instead, just use a single-sided razor blade to create a small gap in the bottom of the phone. Once that gap is big enough, you can insert a plastic guitar pick, and that's going to really help you get into the adhesive there. And we're just going to insert it about five millimeters between the back cover and the frame and run it through and along the edges of the phone and it should come off pretty easily i don't know if this has got some water damage can you see the condensation there oh this one's been open before i mean yeah somebody's glued it back down with some crappy glue just be really careful like you see these bits here they're antennas if it's been glued like this one that the glue sticks to the antenna and ends up ripping it up it's got a tiny little bit of damage to the antenna there however i'll be honest i'm not going to replace it right so there's lots of this really awful adhesive on here it's going to take some cleaning to get that off um, this is why i don't recommend using things like b7000 and t7000 to stick stuff back on because it's really bad and it's really hard to get off what I will do, we've got missing screws here, look, any more? That looks like the wrong screw. Oh, that one's definitely the wrong screw. And then that one's a wrong screw there. Nice. The way that this phone is held together, this is like a mid frame here, and it's held down by all these screws at the bottom and at the top. I'm gonna to use my supersonic electric screwdriver to remove this. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy one of these. And we're just gonna begin unscrewing all the screws that are holding this mid frame cover down. Now, as with all Samsung phones with these plastic covers, these screws never seem to come out too good. So I'll just use the tweezers to pull the rest of them like that. Then I'll move down to the bottom where we've got a few more screws. Wrong screws, should I add? Just get them out of the way. Just make sure that you do pull all these screws out of the way because when we take this mid frame off, they will fall off and they'll end up missing. So next, we need to remove this mid frame. The easiest way to remove this is by first of all, popping out the SIM card. We needed to remove that anyway. Where we just removed the SIM tray from, look, this is like the, a flexible point and really easy to get this guitar pick into so that we can begin separating it. And we do that by just running the guitar pick along these edges to separate it away super easy stuff just be careful with these volume buttons there are some small parts in there but that comes away really easy just like that just in the meantime because it's got so much glue on it squirt loads of alcohol all over this so that hopefully when i come back to it in five minutes time once the charging port's in it's going to be softened and easy to remove because that's it's just nasty. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do the same on this back cover as well. You see, see all the glue there. I've got some adhesive remover somewhere, so that might have to come out to get that. We'll see if the alcohol does the trick. Next, I'm gonna ignore this bit of tape here. I'm not sure what's going on with this phone. Obviously, some kind of repairs happened before, but first of all, I'm gonna disconnect the battery like this. One thing I am gonna look out for, because there's a notorious fault with these, where we run a cable from the top here to the bottom when it stops charging, but I don't think that that's happened to this one. So instead, I'm just gonna move down to the bottom here, disconnect the cable there. Just as a side note, if your phone isn't charging, right, there is a chance that that repair may be required. This one has got a chewed up charging port. Sometimes this connection from here to here goes bad and stops it from charging. So just double check that these are connected properly before doing anything else. Because we're replacing the charging port, we've disconnected this flex cable. We need to disconnect the display cable here, get that out of the way. And then we need to pull up this little coaxial cable here and pull that just out of the way there. Don't rip it out um, because it needs to go back in. Now go ahead and disconnect the fingerprint sensor, which means that now we'll just get the plastic spudger in the little 
headphone jack and then lift it up, get it out of the way. Very, very easy stuff. Whilst you've got that removed, just lift the cable back and give it a little brush out. This area does tend to get a little bit dirty, so it's always worth cleaning once you're inside the device. Now, as always, when we do a repair like this, we've got a genuine Shamsung service pack part. It comes looking something like that. It's got a little bit of adhesive on the back there. It's fresh, it clean, it's clean, it always works. That's, that's the beauty about using genuine parts. It's very rare that you have problems with them. So we'll just lay it down like that. Then I'm gonna reconnect the fingerprint sensor, followed by the display cable. Let's get this coaxial cable. These can be awkward, so use your tweezers to help you along if you've got some fine tweezers. Once you hear that crunch, you know that it's in place. And then make sure that it sits into the little bracket just there as well. And then finally, let's get the sub to main flex cable attached down the bottom here. What I am gonna have a quick look at is just make sure all these screw holes here are gonna be covered and there's not any those little black screws that we took out, they often hold the board down and I'll show you on the top half of the board in a minute where that where they actually belong. But sometimes you'll find that black screws go in here. But in our case, you can see the screw, 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 screw. So all the holes are gonna be covered down the bottom, so that's done. However, I know for a fact that this guy here needs one of those little black screws going into it. So whilst I'm inside the device, we'll do some minor corrective works as well. I'm not gonna interfere with that um, bit of tape because admittedly, sometimes they are there for a reason. He's probably had some problems charging it before. And if I take that off and he has more charging problems, that's then on me rather than the previous repairer or whoever's done that. So instead, I'm just gonna reconnect the battery. This would be a good point to test that your device is charging before sealing it back up. However, for the sake of the video, I will continue with the reassembly. Now putting the alcohol on this little mid-frame cover, it's not done a great deal, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it back on. And if you've got the original adhesive on it, it's very easy to remove because you can just rub your thumb along it and it will come off pretty easy. Now I'm gonna just go off camera and remove this with some chemicals um, and then I'll come back once it's cleaned up. Now that we've got that mid-frame on, I have cleaned it up as much as I possibly could. I'm gonna reinstall all the screws that belong in this phone, and then I'm gonna go and dig out some more screws so that we can do it properly. Let's turn the torque down on this a little bit. I find that four is probably about right for reinstalling. So we've got all the bottom ones in. Let's go for these top ones now. So when you order a like a, a service pack adhesive, they come with a load of screws. So I always just stash them in one box and then when we need them, they're always in a handy place to find them. So we'll just go ahead and uh, torque them up. They're not the exact same screw, but it's the same length. Which is important. If you put screws that are too long in, then you've got a risk that it'll shoot through into the screen or something. Something bad might happen. We've got the charge port installed, we've got the mid frame installed, now we just need to install the back cover again. I took the liberty of cleaning this up the best that I could as well while I was cleaning the mid frame, but same again, use a little bit of rubbing action to remove all the adhesive and you'll be fine. You know what, this one, I'm being clever here, this one is 100% designed to be stuck onto this bit here. So let's peel that back. So we'll line it up the top as close as we can get now. I've only got one of these. And they're expensive as well, like, you wouldn't have th thought that it's gonna cost you five or six quid to stick a sticker on the back of your phone, but Life is also expensive. Right, take the first layer off. I've made a bit of a boo-boo with this, but it's not something that we can't save, don't worry. Don't panic. Now peel off that last bit of film. This has got to be the most awkward seal that I've seen in a while. Look at that, just not good enough. I don't know if it's user error or part error. 
let me know in the comments which one you think it is. I think it's user error. Now, just slap it on the back there. Apply pressure along the edges. Give it a good few rubs. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Make sure that it's stuck well and that it ain't gonna peel off later. Don't forget to put the SIM card back in if you took a SIM card out, I can't remember. I'm gonna have to fly through the video to check if there was a SIM in there. And that is job done. Make sure the phone turns on as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.